I'm a little confused in Wind Waker when I loaded up the game that it put me in the middle of the forest temple. Am I at the fort? Where am I? That's always a good thing to find. Where the? This is not the forest temple. Is it? Crap. Yes, this is the wind temple. Because we beat this last stream. Tell me I saved. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, it can't be. No, I've got the hook shot. Let's talk to the boat and see what the boat says. I finished that friggin' temple yesterday. It better not want me to go do something else there. Because I powered up the Master Sword and all that, and now I'm hearing that Ganon's not the Forsaken Fortress anymore. Uh, oh my, give me, I gotta fight the boss again? I didn't save after I fought the boss? I'm a moron! No. Oh. How's it going, Doc? Good to see you. All right, let's see how much stupid crap I got to do again. Yeah, yeah. Man, we did all this nonsense. Now I got to, like, make my way there. Wait, there's a shortcut thing right over here. I don't have to do this. Don't care about whiz robes. Got to go. Yeah, so today, other than re-completing the Wind Temple... Uh, is going to be kind of a more chill day. Um, let's see. The boss is at the bottom, I believe. You're still in San Francisco? Oof. Okay. So now I go this way. It looks like I literally just saved before the boss and didn't save after I killed it. So I just have to re-kill the boss. And this boss was kind of annoying, as I recall. Don't care about you guys. Go away. I think they hurt each other. I am okay with that. Gotcha. Don't care about you guys. Bye. Oh, this thing again. Come on. Uh, fine. I'll block the friggin' blades and drag my car across again. What are you barking at? Ow. Nope. I want to block on the other side. Yes. Oh. For some reason, I thought you were like pump in this like fitness routine yes. yeah so Ella told me yesterday I could uh, block two blades with one block and that's working out pretty well but I don't need to get them completely up against the wall that's enough All right, we'll take the boots off Link moves so friggin slow in the iron boots can't believe I did this I did all that nonsense and I didn't save afterwards like a big doof. Why? I'm always into saving. Like, why did I not... What happened when I ended last night's... I didn't end last night's stream on an emergency. Weird. Oh, well. Nothing to do for it now, but push on. Literally. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Have you guys had a good Friday today? Uh, one more over. I bet you are. Looking forward to getting back home, too, I bet. It is indeed Friday, Doc. Yeah, my Friday's been pretty good. 
Especially now that work's over. Okay. It does doesn't really matter which side I block the blade on, but I kind of like keeping them on the right. Suck it, blade! Alright. Now I can get my car over here and not worry about getting knocked out by a stupid blade. Alright, my car, come on! Stupid room takes forever. But, I did do it much faster than last night. Yeah, as fast as you can run in what's basically concrete. Shut up, Doc. <laughs> in what's basically concrete shoes. Clank, clank, clank. All right, now we can move. And fight the boss. Wait, there was a shortcut here? I could have just done this. I didn't need to do that whole puzzle again. Uh... Well, this stream is starting I swimmingly. I am too smart. I am too smart. Do I am too smart. SMRT. I mean, SMAR. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying when I saw the character, I thought, ooh, this is a tough guy. And when the tough guy started talking like this, it just threw me off. All right, let's fight ourselves a creepy centipede monster. Again. Where is the skip cutscene button? Whoa, no, no, that is not what I wanted. I shall fight this alone, you shall see nothing. Isn't this very interesting stream? Ha ha ha. I don't know what that accent was. Okay. Here we go. Come out and say hello. I got a hook shot the stupid tongue in. Oh no, don't get swallowed. Dang it. Some streams you just feel like giving up. Okay, now he's gonna spit his stupid little offspring at me. I don't, I don't remember this music. This music's not bad. Oh crap, I'm in his mouth. You, I'm gonna get swallowed again! Woo! Need to deal with these little ones or they're gonna keep getting in the way. No! Okay. Just gotta do that a couple more times. I don't remember this music last night. Get over here. Whoa, what? Come here. Get over here. Let's back away from giant death centipede. Or whatever its name is. Excuse me, we haven't properly introduced ourselves. No. Ah. Within the next five minutes is 87.61%. Aha! Double aha! Get over here. Alright, I think I just have to do that one more time. So I'm gonna try to ignore the little offspring or whatever. <coughs> the mouth wiener. Whoa, okay. Well, I mean, I might as well kill the little ones if he's just gonna fly around in the air and grunt. Ah! All 
All right, stick your head out of the sand again. It's proven so effective in the past, just keep doing it over and over again. Well, he listened to my advice. No, no, all the mistakes. Ah! Stop! Why is locking on in this game such a big pain in the butt? No! I feel like this game waits for me to target the tongue, and then, like, immediately he swallows me. There we go. The chat is faster than life, but my stupidity is even faster. You can take that to the bank. Don't mind the puppy playing with the toy in the background. She really enjoys her squeaky tennis ball. I'll save when I get outside. Thank you, Doc. You know what? You're right. I probably should save now. Okay. We got ourselves our heart container. And now I'm going to save. Yes, continue playing. Alright. I saved now! Relax! Yeah, play your song. I know you're a sage. We did this! Like Groundhog Day for Link. He just has to fight this boss over and over again. And a one, and a two, and a one, two. I like how Link looks surprised, but he just keeps conducting like, Ah, cool! Ghost player. All right, I guess. I'm possessed again. Yeah. And of course, as soon as you get the full-powered Master Sword, Ganon, di Ganon just runs away. Brave, brave Sir Ganon. Yep. Puppies, man. I don't know what it is about squeaky toys. <laughs> I wish this sword got longer. Yep, we did this. Where's the skip conversation option? I can't help it. It's fine. Okay, yep. Search for the tri- Oh, the Triforce Shards, right. So this is where I stopped last night. You mean I literally got in the boat and just quit the game without saving? That sounds like something I would do. All right, Northern I Fairy Island. I am too smart. I am All right, so smart. we've got Star Island and Northern smart. Fairy Island just to the east. I mean, so let's see what we've got there. Yeah, and unfortunately, the map does not wrap around. Like you can't keep going north and then suddenly find yourself back at the south. It literally just keeps you from going in that direction. So, as part of the objective today, it wants me getting Triforce Shards. Fine. Um, but I don't know where they are, and I don't even know where all the Triforce Shards are. So I figured today would probably be a good day to kind of chill and do some island hopping. Because I've, I've mapped all of the islands, but I've not looked at all of the islands. And I'm pretty sure I've not looked at this... Uh, this fairy island yet. Nope, not here to fight you. 
So that's how that works. Yeah, and we've saw we saw the ghost ship last night. And we didn't know what it, I don't know how to get on it yet. Um You know what I probably ought to do? Young waker of the winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Um. <laughs> so there's eight little Deku tree shrubs around here that are all withering, and I have to bring water from the Deku tree to them. I don't know where they are. Oh, yay! It's a bigger rupee wallet. That's what I wanted. Um. So what I'm probably going to do is empty out my bottles and go get water from the DQ tree before I go island hopping, because I know I'm going to encounter some of those shrubs as we go. Um, okay. So, let me swallow some fairies, or set them free, or whatever. Deku. I suppose Deku would be an acceptable alternate, uh... Deku? Deku tree. I find that I always have weird pronunciations for crap. Um. Like, where. Everything that my brain comes up with is wrong. Um. Like, uh, the, the main character of, of Final Fantasy IV is a character named Cecil. But I didn't know that was the proper pronunciation for the name, so it's hard for me when I see the name to not say. Cecil. Alright. We need to go to the Forest Haven. And for that, we need the Get Ballad of Gales! I'm so glad this game has a fast travel system. So irritating. I mean, the speed sail helps too, but without the speed sail and the Ballad of Gales, navigating this ocean is so freaking slow. So slow! Well, you've got your opinion, and I have my correctness, so, you know. Somehow we'll keep on living in the same world, Doc. Is there a quick way to get back to him? There's gotta be some quicker way than doing this every time. Yeah, whatever. Keep slobbering at me. Okay, now you're annoying. Now you're pissing me off. You gotta die. Like, having to navigate the whole way back up here every time is... There's gotta be something better. Excuse me. I know you love squeak ball, but you got other toys too. There's only so much squeak I can take before it freaking starts driving me crazy. Uh huh. Yep. And jump. And jump. So I don't know if just any, I, I'm going to go into the front of the Deku tree, excuse me, and grab the water from there. I don't know if I could just grab any of this water and that would be fine, but okay. It all looks the same. So I'll just grab the water from here, I guess. Let's see. If, let's see if it actually has like a different name or something. Or I'll just fail to get the water at all. Awesome. Ooh, maybe I got to get it out of this. What is the What's the point of these ripples? What's going on here? Just scoop the water. Like Link just can't scoop water unless it's waste level. Like how to work? Who get it? 
Fine, I'll scoop it out of one of the stupid waterfalls. Good, he managed to scoop some water. Forest water! But it loses its forest freshness out of after, just after 30 minutes. Oh. Uh -huh. I did not know I could use it multiple times. I thought I... Okay. Stop, Ella! Alright, so we've got to get going. Oh, we're going to be back here a bunch of times. Um... Well, this is a pretty quick way to get to the boat. Bye, Beetle. Oh! Ow. Cool, cool. Alright, now let's get back to where we were. So I'll need to keep an eye out for when that just becomes regular water again. So we'll be back to Forest Haven roughly every half hour. Crap! This is like the eighth time I've done this. I suck. Okay. Try it again. I keep forgetting that this fast travel point like, put you in a bowl that you can't get out of. Okay. And I know that there's a, a couple little things, like at Forest Haven, there's a area that I've not looked at about flipping a switch or something like that. Alright, so we'll hit this island. Spectacle Island. Spectacle Island. I wonder what's on that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It actually has the timer up there of how long the forest water lasts. I knew someone was going to say spectacles. It's so predictable. Uh. Interesting. Witcher seems like much too serious of a of a uh, a game to really do a good crossover with Zelda. In. Okay, let's see what's what's on here. Uh Roy, <laughs> toss a coin to your hero of time. Let's see. Good morning. Why did I No, I don't need to friggin' mail anything. Um All right, what's the sign say? The way to the northern fairy island is to the north. Oh, really? I had no idea. Thank you so much. Oh, that's just a pot. I thought that was a switch. Okay, nothing hidden behind the barrels. Let's see what's up top. Wait, this is the battleship, dude. What are you doing here? Is this real, like... Is he, do, like, doing the battleship minigame for real now? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. My mistake. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Wanna try? You bet. Remember to clonk that follow button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, ho, ho. So you're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hotshot, yeah? And you say this knowledge knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightened. Yeah, shut up. Sink five pirate ships will acknowledge your skills with a cannon. Okay. You only get ten shots. Ten shots to sink five five things. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Sink all five. So there's only five. Okay. Welcome to Sea of Thieves training. What? 
Whoa, that was way out there. Okay, I'm having a little trouble getting this dialed in. Really? Okay, so there's that. And this should be, what, 20 foot? Let's give it 26 degrees. Hey, can I start over, Pirate Man? Okay. Let's give this 36. My pirate instincts, they suck. This is like those old uh, tanks mini games and stuff. Um, except it's not just on a two dimensional plane. Ho ho ho! You only got three of them! Yes, try again. Yep. Okay, that one's much closer. Let's go with 27 degrees. The way that the cannonball actually leaves the screen makes it a little bit harder to gauge. Oh, 20 was still too far. Okay, that was 16 degrees. So we'll do this should be probably... Let's give that 26. Alright. This will give a good 30... 34. Okay, needs probably 3 degrees more. 37? Oh! 38. Oh, this game sucks. Let's give this 32. And that's how you lose. Ho oh, ho ho, you lost again, fool. Yes, I want to freaking shut up. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go for the far ones first. We're going to give this 40 freaking degrees. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to get do. Let's go 24 for this one. Way too far. Uh, 21. Really? Go 19. Am I just a terrible judge of distance? Crap. Still got five bombs left. Okay. We'll go 23 with this one. Twenty-three wasn't enough. Twenty-four was just right. Thanks, Goldilocks. Let's go with twenty-eight for this one. Yeah, okay, I've got two shots to get this one. I'm gonna go friggin' like, yeah. Let's go forty-six. Oh, Doc, you were so close! Okay. We're going to go 48. No! Uh-huh, too bad. It's too bad you can kill me with your sword. Ah, whatever. Really? You're just going to rub it in? Meanwhile, my forest water is friggin' expiring. I don't know what this bean is. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go for the far ones first. I'm giving this one... Let's go 50. It's Stink Bug. 
50 is too far. Let's go... I'm going to go 46, actually. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the harder ones first. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go 38 on this one. This is probably gonna undershoot it, or be just right. This feels like another 38. Let's do 36. All right, these two are right next to each other. So if I can get one dialed in, I'll be all right. Let's go 20. Oh, yeah. 18. Wow, a nice shooting. But we won't hand over our priceless treasure so easily, huh? Hey, miss. Okay. Here's our treasure. A piece of heart. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the dude is voicing his own different characters. He looked French to me, so I don't I definitely don't know how to do French chick. That's not something you want me to even try to reach for. And how does that thing still have 27 minutes on it? Oh ha ha! That link, he is so sexy! Oh, regrets immediately. Regrets immediately! Mother and child aisles. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is where that friggin' fairy thing is that I keep falling for. Hey man, if I if I had if I cared that much, I wouldn't attempt it either. But here we are. There you go. Glug 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 glug. I mean, I could get back into Foghorn Leghorn anytime you want. Uh, traveling merchant. Oh. Um. Box my. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I got like some kind of exotic flower or something. A mega superstore. Well, looky here, we got ourselves the founder of Walmart on this island. All right, let's take take out that thing that's in our spoils bag and see if he wants it. Have a flower. Huh? Why, that's... Wait, I'm going French again. Sea, uh, sea flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this town flower? Sure. Most agreeable. Your fee? Ten rupees? You want my... This is a trade! Oh, fine, whatever. I probably need it for something stupid. Alright. So we've done this. What we've not gone to is the island that's directly north of us. The Star Island. And we're off! So those little Deku shrubs, like that one I just gave water to, there's like eight of those. I've seen like three of them already. I don't know where they all are. Um, but that's kind of partly why I'm just island hopping tonight. To get whatever it is I might be missing and maybe some pieces of heart. Something that helps me live longer, correct for my derpishness. But that's probably too much to hope for. Whoa, 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 what's with the sudden exploding barrels? And suddenly bombs! Okay, let's see what we got here. This is Star Island. Oh, it's another one of these things. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> 
<laughs> Suddenly bears. All right. Six more. The trees were short. Yep. <laughs> He's very specific about the time. All right. So we can bomb this. Matter of fact, we can bomb all these things. All right. So we got... Oh, crap! Ah! I got distracted looking at that hole. This is a nice island you got here. Shame if someone blew it up. Whoa! So it was literally just that first one? Perfect. So glad I unleashed the monster hordes onto this tiny island. things. Ow! Stop it! Give me your crap. Okay. Oh, I'm actually doing more damage now. So that Master Sword power-up thing wasn't just a superficial thing, it actually does more damage. Oh, someone killed our pat caterpillar friends. Next. You guys have a very exaggerated walk. Could you imagine if you, like, actually walked around in real life like that? Just, like, you're walking down the hallway and it's just like... How's it going? Ow! Rude! That's what they call swagger in Oregon, I guess. Hippie swag. Stop blocking me and just die! Next. Time to fight the treasure! First I want your crap. Uh, and I know I've got a mimic in- Oh, if there were mimics in Zelda, that would be great! So I'm really curious um, about that Breath of the Wild sequel. Like, it looks darker than any other Zelda game. And I wonder if they're going to put mimics in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, now I got another heart container. For a second row of derp. And this is why we're island hopping. All right, we've been to the Forsaken Fortress already. Um, I really wish... Okay, these things... I mean, of course, everybody wants the game as soon as possible. Like, if you could have Cyberpunk tomorrow, who wouldn't take that deal, you know? Everybody wants to play it. I'm glad to see them taking more time to make sure it's done right. I am worried... Whoa, that's a lot of bombs! Um... Oh, it gives you time to finish, Witcher. Um, while I was talking, I wasn't expecting, like, suddenly bombs. Um, so, I'm glad to see them taking more time to finish the game and do it right. Because there's only, you only get the one chance to make a first impression. And, quite frankly, opportunities like people gave... Um, What's the name of that space exploration game? No Man's Sky. Uh, like, No Man's Sky did not deliver on the promises that they made. And somehow they managed to get away with building those things into the game like a year and a half later. And people really love it now. 
I'm happy for them. I'm happy for the gamers that really enjoy it. But that's kind of a rare thing. Normally, when a game sucks, people are like, this sucks, and they never touch it again. So I'm glad to see them take the time to make sure it's, pom it's polished correctly. Um... Oh, come on, Dustin. Ah, bombs! Place sucks. All right. So this, I don't know what... And that's cool. Not everybody is. Um, I don't know what these islands are for. Um... There's six of them. There's one eye, two eye, three eye, all the way up to six eye reef. And they all look like dice. And I have no idea what they're for. Like, what their purpose is. And what I'm supposed to do there. I feel like there's some kind of trick to them. Maybe I need to visit them in order or something? I don't know. There's gotta be something. I'm not just gonna sit here and get rupees. Um, let me crawl up the side and see if there's anything here. Stop, 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 stop. But I did this at one of the other reefs and I didn't see anything. I don't know, I still don't know what the point of them is. That might need to be something I look up at some point and see, like, what's the deal with these reefs. I'm trying to avoid spoil, um... I'm trying to avoid looking at walkthroughs and crap until I... Oh. That's bad. Don't drown, Link. We're almost there. Okay. Um, I don't know what the point of these things are. And I suspect this might have to be something I look up. Maybe I get something for killing all the enemies here? But if I drown Link, he's just going to show up on the boat. It doesn't actually kill Link. You can't kill the hero of Hyrule! I really am looking forward to Breath of the Wild too, though. A lot. And quite frankly, I know it would probably be a bit too much for them to undertake right now. Like, I know Breath of the Wild is really kind of a love it or hate it sort of thing with Zelda fans. Most people really seem to like it, how they changed the Zelda formula. And I think at some point soon, obviously not this one, they need to keep changing the Zelda formula by getting rid of Ganon. Just saying. It's always Link, it's always Zelda, it's always Ganon. Or, maybe have a story that you don't have Link involved at all, it's just Zelda. And no, I'm not talking about the crappy CDI game. No, don't drown! Okay. Alright, let's kill some things here and see if that changes anything. We're gonna experiment. Since we've got a timer, now seems like the great time to just screw around. They always seem to have these enemies around them. All right. Okay. Look, I'm curious if I can shoot these cannons on the side too. Hang on. I mean, I. I mean, there comes a certain point where you make too many changes. It's not a Zelda game at all anymore. Anyway. I get that. I can sink these things, right? Okay, I just blew up that one. Stop. Hammer time. All right, can I shoot these things? Can I shoot these things? Ow! I can. Okay, let's blow them all up. Before we get blown up. Oh crap, I'm about to die! I got rid of all the fairies, go! I forgot I don't have any fairies until like the last freaking moment. We almost game overed right there.
and save. And we will screw around with that later. All right, I know what we're going to do now. Since I know how the forest water works, we're gonna go visit the fairy island. Oh. We're gonna go visit the fairy island and fill our other two bottles with fairies and get healed up. Before we try something stupid like this again. I'm actually a little nervous to make the voyage. Like, a stiff breeze could kill me at this point. Alright, I see our destination in the... Okay, so what's the deal, Doc? Please, tell me. Or copy-paste me, whatever. No worries, Dustin, you do you. In case you're not back before you head out, have a safe flight, bud. So there's no point in going to the reef unless... A special light ring chart. Interesting. Secret cave chart. Acquire a magic meter upgrade. Oh! Ho -ho! Okay. That's actually really good to know. Okay, let's go ahead and you're my prisoner now. I always love how they look all frowny when you capture them, too. Okay. Alright, and now I'm feeling so much better. Okay, now we're going to save again. I still got 15 minutes on the, uh... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. That is... Wait. Is that an actual chart for the nother, Northern Fairy Island? Hang on. I've got a treasure here. I think. If I'm interpreting this correctly. Uh, let me... Can I... Yeah, it looks like it's for here. Why can't I see it? I wish I could show you what's on my screen. Yeah, thank you, Doc, for the reminder. I've been completely neglecting the stupid treasure maps. Again. I've looked at one treasure chart offline, and it gave, like, this giant plume or something. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. I think I have to do this at night. Uh... Or it might not be this island at all. I'm not sure. This is treasure chart number five. Is that at the uh, at the Northern Fairy Island? Because it looks like it should be. But it's not actually showing anywhere here. Could be right here. But the one on the map has like a special little divot or something on it. All right, I've got treasure chart number 12 for Five Eye Reef. Okay. 28 we've done. Okay, that's for... Okay. Let me open all my treasure maps real quick. Because I've gotten a bunch of them and I've not looked at a dang one. Tingle's chart. Yeah, I know where Tingle is. Thank you. 
incredible chart. Oh. Beatles chart. Oh, that tells me where I can find the Beatles. Treasure chart number five. Oh, this must be a different island. Okay, hang on. So four Eye Reef. Do I have one for Four Eye Reef? That's where we just were. Sorry, hang on. Yes, I do. I do have one for Four Eye Reef. Alright, so let's go back there again. Secret Great Fairy Chart. Ooh. Yeah, so we're going to head back to Four Eye Reef and get what's in uh, Treasure Chart 38, which is, which I think is what this uh, Treasure Chart applies to. I like the Wii U. I like, I like the whole, um, like, it's easy when you play with the Wii U to see how the Switch was its successor. Because, I mean, if you think about it, the Wii U gamepad is basically a Switch. Um, they used it as like a second screen or TV output alternative in the case of the Wii U. Like, if I have it go to tablet mode, I don't even need to put it on screen. Like, I could play the whole thing without it hooked up to a display at all, like this, on the tablet. Pretty cool like that. So it's easy to see how it was a precursor to the Switch. Um, but it's kind of irritating the way they do this second screen nonsense because there's a lot of time of me in the stream like just looking down like this like I'm reading a walkthrough or something um, and I can't put the map on the screen for you. No, it is not time for it to be daytime. Night time again, I said. Okay, so something should be here. Alright, that's not... That's not doing a thing either. But it should be, like, right here. Something. I see the treasure chart on my map! just a little bit over here it needs to have some kind of visual or sound representation be right here am I missing something hang on I've got to be missing something Wind Waker treasure charts. Um, thanks, Doc. The treasure is found and marked out by a pillar of light which disappears when Link approaches. What? There's no pillar of light. Okay, well, I guess I'll just keep on sailing then. All right, we'll keep on exploring this top row then. I mean, I've opened all the treasure charts, so if what the game says is true, I should be able to just keep sailing and see them as like special peer. I do not have that chart. Yeah, but I think I need a treasure chart to get it. Okay, fine. We'll go back there again. I'll look at all the little treasure chart thingies and see what I and, and see what I find. Um Okay. While you look it up, I will keep looking at other islands. Um Yeah, so like I said, today's going to be kind of chill since we're just island hopping. So Oh, well here's a big one right there. That's a pillar of light from a treasure map. All right, so let's see what we've got here. That's what I was expecting to see at Four Eye Reef. So what's this? Ma! 
money! Yay! Forty-one. I don't have that one. Okay, so there's a prerequisite chart I needed to get first. Thank you, Doc. Well, that just saved us about five minutes. And since Doc has saved us about five minutes, I am going to take an AFK that is less than five minutes worth of time. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. It's been about an hour. Oh, I regret that immediately. Time to head to Paw Print Isle. Let's see what the deal is with this place. I have a feeling I've been here before. Dragon Roost I've been to before. The story made me go there, but... Oh, we've got a treasure chest right here, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely glad that we got the big wallet before we started looking at treasure chests. Oh, another piece of heart! Awesome! And I'm getting shot at. Awesome. Great. I got nine minutes on that thing. Uh, let me up. Thank you. What is this? It looks like a giant egg. What are those? Yeah, I know where Dragon Roost is. I'm more looking to figure out what this is. Smash it with a hammer. This feels like a hammer smashy bit. Wah! Yeah. Well, I hope you have a safe flight, bud. Um, and I'm glad you're getting to head home soon. So, fly safe, bud. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Stop shooting me! It's rude! What's the deal with this friggin' egg? Uh-oh. I mean, given that I'm being bombed, I'm pretty sure bombing it isn't the right answer, but... Maybe I shoot it? Doesn't feel like a shooting it answer. What is that? Paw print aisle. Uh, it's it looks like Turtle Rock that you can enter through a s oh oh there's a hole there I can crawl through. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see it. It's in the grass. Okay. Put it away. In we go! Oh, this was something I had to bomb. Oh, neat. A little creepy forest with egg sacs or something. Nothing ever went wrong in a weird cave with strange egg sacs hanging off the ceiling. Uh, is this a kill all the things type of cave? Okay. Not the chew jelly. Alright, let's keep going s this way. That's a bomby thingy. How about just set down? Oh crap. Okay. And then... Ooh, a little treasure chest. I really like the sound design of this game. Money! Money, 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 money. Okay. There's more to this cave than money. I feel pretty certain about that. Another bomby thingy. And then... This place is a friggin' maze. Little maze, but still. Money. Nope. Ah, joy pendant. 
Oh, I need to go back to Windfall and give the teacher some joy pendants. I've got more than 20 of them now, that's for sure. Alright. You guys all jiggle around in there, I don't care. Ooh, this is a special looking chest. What is inside? Yeah, I also need to stop by Dragon Roost and give that... He, there was a dude there that asked me for a golden feather. I didn't have one at the time, but now I do. I have more than one. Alright, what's in here? More pieces of heart. Excellent. Improving my, my, my uh, survivability one little inkling at a time. All right, what's the way out of here? Aha. Just follow the cut grass. Uh, let me uh, whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensor bean. What do you think? Where's I'm just giving boat? these away? Where's my boat? There's my not. boat. What's with these weird little stone head thingy? Vomiter Peach. I'm feeling lazy today. I'm feeling lazy most days. That's kind of how it works. Am I going to use fast travel to get one panel over? Yes, I am. It's vomit. That has got to be a nauseating way to travel, though. I'm going to miss the farmer's market! It's got to be right here, right? Right here. I wonder if I just accidentally fast-traveled my way to another one of those treasure charts. Two hundred roops. All right. See, the one thing to remember is that the path to efficiency when it comes to programming is laziness. Because you get tired of doing something, you write a robot or a script to do it for you. That's Kamali, right? Yeah, I know, Medley. Uh, you're probably never going to see Medley again, kid. Get used to a life of disappointment. Alright, where's the dude inside who wanted me to find a feather for him? I feel like it was a guard. That dude's too old, I think. Yeah. It was a younger dude who wanted the feather to... He told his girlfriend he would get her a feather, and then he couldn't get one. Which, to me, sounds like a whole world of not my problem. There it is. Alright. So here... Have a golden feather. Yep. How many of those do I have? You want 20 of them?! <sighs> no, it is still not a good thing for Link to want to go to on a murderous rampage of his allies. 20 of them. What, do you want to knit your own bird? Crap you doing. Crescent Moon Island to the northeast. Crescent Moon Island. I feel like it... I think I went there last night. And I saw the ghost ship there, but I don't recall seeing any particular treasures on this island. Alright. I haven't gotten any... Yeah. 
haven't gotten any new treasure charts. Alright, so this is Crescent Island. I see. I have to shoot these from shore, do I? Okay. Let's go ahead and put the bow on the thing. So what happens when I shoot these things? Oh, they're just rupees? Oh, but there are a lot of rupees. Uh... Can I swim out and get them? Okay. No, they are five rupees. I thought those were purple. That's probably more to what it wants me to do rather than swim out there and drown. Uh, ooh, treasure chest. Mine! Or I can just circle around it like a weirdo. Get the treasure chest. Open the treasure chest. Oh my gosh! I am the smart. I am the smart. Ugh. Cool. Cool. Alright, which treasure chest is this that I just got? Treasure chart 10. Okay. So this guy is also remarking about the ghost ship. Whoa! Okay. So are these... No, no! Oh, my friggin' special water is about to go away, too. These are all blue rupees. Okay, so we need to definitely go back to Forest Haven and get more water before we start adventuring around again. Oh, it's fine. We've almost explored the, the, the top two rows of squares on the map. Now, admittedly, um, I was kind of expecting to get further, but you know, it is what it is. Stop, stop sailing. Beetle always leaves like right when I get here, like I've been ghosting him as a customer or something like. That customer has not paid his bills. I'm leaving. File that under terrible impressions. Hey! Well, at least he got me where I wanted to be. I'm okay with this. Swing and a huge miss. Oh, right. I'd already forgotten how this place worked from when I was here like 45 minutes ago. Alright. So now we can go in here and grab some forest water from the waterfall again. Which is literally expiring in three seconds. And now it's regular water. Pour it out. We shall return the water from whence it came! Alright. So, this is not a playthrough where I'm expecting to, like, friggin' look up every... Every, like piece of part and every power up and make sure I go into Ganon like all maxed out and all that stuff but that being said I do want to find the things which I can find naturally um <laughs> yeah all the forest water goes away because I just poured some regular water into it 
the Deku tree is like poison now. Or a Deku tree. Okay. So we just explored Crescent Island. Seven Star Islands is to the north. So let's see what we've got there. Alright, that doesn't look like an island that I get out and explore. I probably should have stopped Beetle at some point. Because um, I know that there are some islands that you explore by, like, taking controls of seagulls and stuff. And I wonder if this is one of them. Whee! Aw, I wanted it to pick me up. And cannons! Cannons! Bye! Yeah, I think this is a take control of the seagulls one, and I don't know what for. I just see seagulls around here, and there's I obviously can't get out on the island. So let's... I just saved. Let's see what this does. Ah! Uh, it's almost like crash immediately. Seriously. Oh man, this is like Scrapper Valley. No, guys, don't go to Scrapper Valley. Um, sounded like uh, that was like so I'm probably man from the uh, Shrek movies. Oh man, no, that was terrible. Never mind. I um, do that anymore. So I'm probably going to be lending Perm my Wii U once I'm done with the, uh, when I'm done with my Wind Waker playthrough, because I think he wants to play it too. Um, that being said, I am considering playing, uh, Pikmin 3 as, uh, and putting that on my backlog too. Um, I don't know if people have much excitement, if any, for Pikmin. I found it to be a fun little, uh, puzzle game. I've never played Pikmin 3, but I own the game. Oh, I just shot his bomb out of the air! And that dude just killed a bird for me! That was awesome! Yeah, I find that, uh... I have, because of the fact that I have a propensity for playing and enjoying single-player RPGs, that uh, it's hard for my stream schedule to keep up with, like, the amount of games I could play versus the ones, like, as opposed to the ones that are still coming out. Not what I meant to do. Okay. Oh, yeah! All right. Let's try this again. I should really... This is the only pair I have. That's why I reloaded the game when I lost it to that stupid bird. Alright, let's see what we can get here. I feel like there's got to be something on top of one of these things. No? Is this literally it's here for nothing? It's black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Why is this here? Seven star owls. 
Okay. Oh, really? There's a big octo here. Okay. And there's a Triforce shard here, which I can't see. Because I don't have the chart for it. Cool. I've not seen the Octo either. Okay, we'll just keep on looking. Overlook Island. Yeah, I don't know how to find the Triforce. Oh, I've got to go visit Tingle. I hate Tingle. Is that Beetle? Is that actually Beetle? No, that's an enemy ship. Okay, so it's just a tower in the middle of nowhere. Okay, there's got to be a way up these things, right? Or is this another thing I need, like, seagull bait for? I think I need seagull bait for this. Uh, I don't know either. Light control platform is the one below us. Go have a look. Light control sounds good. <laughs> Launching nudes from what? Yeah, this this little this little thing in the middle of Hyrule Ocean is just like we're ready to nuke this whole area. Like, whoa, what? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Okay. I think I just started a cutscene, uh, yeah, hanging off of the dock. Magic. Whoa! What is he looking at? Greetings, O person who has surely come to take challenge in the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman contest. And now, oh my listen, gosh, I just peed a you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the roiling seas like so much dead weight driftwood. The banner now stands where the great and talented champion who shall not be named crashed into the frothy waves in a matchless splash of glory. Okay. Ten rupees, huh? All right, let's see what we can do. Let me equip the thing first, please. Yep, the contest is afoot. It's a bird with a mustache, okay. And we're off! And I'm flying into a headwind like a doof. Let's just lose immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight yards. Eight whole yards. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, let's change the wind. Oh. Now we'll find I do better. <laughs> All hail the eight yard 
lead brick. I mean, it would be hard to do worse than I did before. Oh, it maxes out your, your magic for you. <laughs> Nine yards. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna run out of magic. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yeah. Oh crap, I'm gonna run out of magic. I'm not going for a tornado. No, I'm not going to make it. No. <sighs> 230 yards, much better than eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking if I had just not, like, kind of doubled back, I would have made it. All right, let's try again. Excuse me, you did not max me out on magic. Okay, yes, you did. Good. You're forgiven now. I'm skipping this one. We're just going for that one. Uh, I think I may have made a mistake. I think I really may have made a mistake. Oh, yeah! Alright, where you at? Where you at? Where you going? Just keep going. Not doubling back. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap! Oh, crap. Yeah! Uh, no! Too much weaving for tornadoes. Dang it! Hang on. No, no, no. We can do this. We can do this. 247. What was my last one? Was it 230? I, I, yeah, I think I did better. Okay, 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 okay. This is taking too long! You're fine! I'm gonna Enough with the cutscenes, let me at him. to show me the course every time dude you don't have to show me the course every time okay there we go we got our height we'll just stay to the left and go for it <laughs> Iron boots. Clunk. Splish. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just go. I don't know how I can do it any better than that. Two hundred and fifty-three. I'm wondering. 
But I thought I had the magic bar upgrade, like, maxed out already. Oh, there's another one based on a treasure chest. You mentioned that earlier. Alright, well, I'm gonna go pay 10 rupees just to get my magic bar. Yeah. But you said that was a, uh, a treasure chest thing, was it not? Or was it just... Okay. And we're just gonna splish. You set a record for suckiness. Seven yards. So I got even better on that first attempt. Okay, so two eye reef. Okay, okay, okay. So where is two eye reef? G4. That's six eye reef. That's five. Two eye reef. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we're gonna go hunting around two eye reef for another magic meter upgrade. Let's do that. Because I wanna do this, dang it. But I clearly don't have the magic to last all the way through unless I think with my current magic meter upgrade I'd have to do it pretty much literally perfect to pull that off nope that's not where I wanted this one Go south to Two Eye Reef and see what we find. Thank you for your help, though, Doc. And looking crap up for me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. That is Two Eye Reef. I think Wind Waker has a compelling story to tell. I just think it's got too much ocean. Take out the boat. How to waste bombs, starring Link. Okay. Bomb at the camera. How did that not sink that boat? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, put away. Back to the I don't know how to find things problem here. Oh ho ho ho! We do have to kill things here! Okay. Okay. That helps me quite a bit. From point blank!
Okay. So we've... We killed all the cannons and the treasure chest showed up. Question is, how do we get to it? Oh, oh I know how we get to it. Okay, okay. I see how this is going down. Yeah, I was frig fixing to say, how about a friggin' heart, please? We'll fly to it from here. So we will control the wind. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Oh, I thought I had released that a little too early for a sec. You get a chart. The secret cave chart. Acquire a... Okay, so what chart did I get out of this? I got treasure chart 13 out of this, I think. Yep, I got treasure chart 13 out of this. Uh, whatever. Baldy, pass me a oh, sensor oh, bean. Okay. Oh, you think I'm just giving these away? So where is an island that looks like that? Because I'm not. <clears throat> Hang on. I'm looking for islands. That one looks like a shark. Secret cave chart. Uh, none of this looks like what I'm looking for. Except for that island I've... I've, I've been to Overlook Island. And the water around this island is a four-eyed bit up. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, vomiter Peach? Nope, it is Tutti Frutti. That was a stinky sock or Tutti Frutti bean. I've made a huge mistake. I'm going to drown. Well, before we drown, I'm going to take another brief little AFK. I'll be back in a minute or two. Alright, I'm back. Oh, this! I forgot what I was doing! Crap! Close as I can get! That'll work. Okay, I should be able to reach the boat without drowning now. The question is how to find this big octo. Shut up! Big octo around the waters here. So this is, maybe it's where those seagulls are. Let's see if that actually serves as a good marker. Nope. They gotta be flo flying around there for a reason, right? Why would a bunch of seagulls be flying around there if it wasn't a marker for something? This is taking too long! Tell me about I'm it. Gonna miss the farmer's market. All right, this I don't like. There's a big octo around the waters here. Where? Eh, I don't know. By the way, this is going to be a little bit longer of a stream tonight. Um, so, where would it be, though? Big Octo. Hang on, let me see if there's like a marker where we know where the Big Octo is.
Do I reef? Big octos will surface when you find their location and try to suck you into the maelstrom. I know that. How do you find them? Then look for a ring of four seagulls, which will cause Big Octo to appear. Is that not what I found earlier? All right, this is not helping. Um, make a daytime. Four seagulls? I mean, we found a big old ring of seagulls over there. But they're not there now. <laughs> Give me some more roops. I think the wallet I have now caps out at 5,000 rupees. But I'm always okay to find more rupees. I'm not seeing any seagulls right now. Is that because it's raining? Do I just need to keep doing this until it's not raining anymore? Yeah, I know you don't know. Fine. Alright, now it's not raining. There's the seagulls. It's more than four, though. I don't get it. Okay. Well... You said that the that the treasure map we got here would give us a uh, uh, a map to where the secret cave thing was, so we're gonna head for that. That's kind of frustrating, though. I'm not a big fan of hearing like you kill the big octo, you get an upgrade, but like it doesn't. Every time I've run into a big octo, it's been an accident. And this thing about looking for seagulls seems clearly wrong. Because I should, if that was the case, I should have found a big octo at 2i Reef where I was looking. While I sail for this, I'm going to look for it real quick. How do you trigger big octos? If they don't appear, you killed them. Oh. Oh. So maybe that is the magic meter upgrade I got. Uh, great fairy upgrades. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Fire and ice arrows, arrows, bombs, bombs, arrows, bigger wallet, bigger wallet. She will double your magic meter. I have that upgrade already. That's why I can't find the up the octo. I've already killed it. So I have to do that flight control thing with the magic meter I already have. Sounds that way. Okay. Well, that at least solves a mystery for me. Secret cave chart. Now you know where to find the secret caverns. All right. Whoa. Okay. According to this, there's friggin' secret caves, like, almost everywhere. 
Uh, Alright, so the flight control platform is just below us. So we're going to keep trying that. I mean, I've already got the magic meter upgrade. We might as well just go for it, because we're not getting it any better than what we've got. When you described that earlier, Doc, I thought you were literally describing, um, like, an additional magic meter upgrade on top of what I already had. So I was like, yes, more magic, please. But I guess I just have to do this perfect. Okay. I don't remember any of this. I'm starting to wonder if maybe... Oh, it's not like I... It's no big deal. It's not like, oh, you didn't remember? Well, you're my Zelda encyclopedia, so screw you. Like, nah, that's not how it is. Um, all right, we got to change the wind again. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm just trying to get whatever edges I can on this. All right, I like the staying left strategy we had. I just really need to not have to backtrack for a tornado. Hopefully that was good enough. Okay, that was good. That should be good enough to make it all the way to the end, just going straight on. Come on. There we go. That should count. That should count. Yeah! Thank you, Rex. Thank you for coming out and hanging out. I appreciate it, bud. Have a good evening. Congratulations! 258 yards. All right. Okay. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. I wouldn't say I blew past the record. It's a piece of heart, isn't it? I knew it. Oh, cool. That healed me all the way. How about some magic? How about some magic? All right. Well, at least we dealt with that. That helps me feel better, actually. And I've used 55 bombs. All right, we're definitely saving after that nonsense. All right, so what do we have underneath us? We have the Star Belt Archipelago. This feels like another one of those control the seagull things. I don't think I can actually get out at these islands. And I've not seen beetles since I ran out of those uh, pears or whatever. Fire Mountain would be next. We've already been to Fire Mountain. Eastern Fairy Island, I feel like we've already been to. But we'll revisit it real quick just to be sure. Oh. Whoa! Okay. And Big Octo! I was just talking about this, how I friggin' can't figure out where they are. It just kind of happens. Oh, come on. Okay. I, like, have to hit the eye exactly or it doesn't turn blue. I've got one more eye to hit. 
It's smoking. There we go. I'm legit kind of worried about that at this point. Yeah, so when I said like every time I've run into a big Octo, it's been by accident, that is a perfect example. I started with 99 bombs, now I have 20. I got 99 problems in the bombing. This better be good. If this 50 rupees, I'm not gonna be happy. I know it's still rupees. Like, that's not. Ugh. Fast, please. That was not worth it. I feel like I'm gonna have to spend a hundred rupees to replace all my bombs. I've used so many bombs. I feel like I've been here. There's no way I haven't been here. Oh, how's my friggin' forest water? Seven minutes to go. I think there's one of, I know there's one of these on a fairy island. It may be this one. I'm just gonna start cutting grass and hoping there's bombs inside. Yep, there's a Deku tree here. Have some forest water. It's only mildly aged. Treat it like a whiskey. It's better with age. I immediately chopped the little Deku tree down. Alright, have I been here? I've been here. Okay. I've never been a fan of whiskey as a raw drink. Like, mixed? Okay. But these days, I tend not to go into mixed drinks. Like, I'd rather have beer. I prefer beer. And, like, I'm not looking to get from, like, zero to smash in 60 seconds. I had those days. I'm not looking to repeat those days. Um, Northern Triangle Isles. I think I have. I've got a map for one of the Triangle Isles. I don't think this is one of them. We'll visit it in any way. I'll stop there and get whatever this is, though. Oh, well, it's a regular one. It's 50 rupees. Ooh, I overshot that. When you drop bait, when you drop bait, you stop immediately. Just dead. All momentum ceases. When you want to salvage, it takes, like, a little bit to slow down. 50 rupees! I do kind of like the, the salvaging aspect gets a little dull because it's always the same thing every time. It's, it's 50 rupees. Every time. That being said, like, I think it's kind of nice for the game to have, like, an infinitely renewable source of rupees for you if you really want it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just open ocean. Why not go for a swim, I guess? It's not like Link has scurvy. Uh, that's true. Is that a treasure chest? Nope. It is just grab. Alright, yep. There's nothing here. Ugh, Tangle Island. I don't want to... We need to talk to Tangle, but dang it, I really don't want to talk to Tangle. I don't like Tangle. Tangle annoys me. He's like, I want to be a fairy. It's like the one thing they added to Zelda games. Like this mid-generation of Zelda games that I really don't like. 
They're just like, we're just gonna add this little boy who wants to be a fairy and he's so cute and da 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 da. No, he's obnoxious. And a little bit weird. Very weird. Yep. That should do it. Two hundred rupees. All right, let's go see Tingle. I need to give Tingle a voice. What's the most avo annoying voice I could give him? To give him like an annoying Peter Griffin. That's fair. That's fair. I walked into that. I walked into that. Well, I didn't want to read that sign anyway. is going on here oh mr fairy i've been longing to see you what should be play what do you want to play ah uh, nah a chart i haven't seen yet please bring me one goodbye Have a tingle bottle. Do do I have a tingle bottle? Or to complicate it? No. What? What the crap are you talking about? The tingle bottle. Do I look like I want to carry a tingle bottle with me? This guy has another brother. So I can't do anything with him until I have Triforce charts for him to interpret. Well, that makes this visit pretty simple. All right, next we've got Rock Spire Island, which is kind of small. And 50 rupees to encounter. Oh, I've been to Rockspire Island. I think I did all this already. You're being hunted by sharks, but that's no excuse not to get 50 rupees. I'm glad you're into it. Uh, laughing from what? For what? For what? Yeah, I've been here. I remember blowing up these boulders, but I'm going to go through it just to make sure I haven't missed something. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, you jerk. I did walk into that, though. I really did. Ow. Where? Oh, it's Beetle! Come here. Oh, I remember this Beetle. This is not the... It's Beetle, but it's not really Beetle. Um... This is like a version of Beetle that only goes here, that only sails around here, and he has like rare items to sell. But now that I've got like a bunch of rupees, it's worth seeing him again. I remember this. He's got like a helmet on or something. Yep. Uh, grand reopening sale. 30 bombs for 60 rupees, a heart piece, and a treasure chart. 950 rupees for a piece of heart 
and 900 rupees for this, which, okay, I can't afford them both. I'm gonna go for the piece of heart. Gives me another heart. Thank you. I like that this is like Beetle's secret shop. And I might as well restock bombs while I'm here because I'm freaking low. Low. Bye. I love that this is like Beetle's secret business. I love Beetle. It really pissed me off. It's knowing that Beetle was in Breath of the Wild, but that he didn't include this thank you clip. I love this thank you clip. Thank you. He's like the one thing from like from like Wind Waker that I'm just like, oh my gosh, can he be in Zelda forever? I love Beetle. But hey, we got another heart container. Whoop whoop. Pretty sure we've done this already. I just want to be sure. Hey, right, hey, look, my forest water is about to expire. means we need to go to Forest Haven after this. Yep. Crap! How about you look at where you're going and you can look at your map later when you're stable? Ah, that kind of idea would never take off. Hey. <laughs> Gotta wait till the right moment. Yeah. Hey, you gotta be patient! That's right. Suckers. Suckers. What's that sound? Is, is this directions to another island? Yep. That's irritating. I would want a sign on an island to tell me something about the island that I'm on. Not this whole, like, t how to get to somewhere else nonsense. That's annoying and useless. I've been here. I've opened that chest. Okay. Good. Saves me time. I feel like I was literally just taught. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's such worthless directions. The sun rises in the east. Oh, really? All right, so we'll visit Western Fairy Island. Oh, oh, the water's no good. We got to go back to Forest Haven and refill it. But first, okay, okay. I know, uh, first things first. We are going to go to Overlook Island because there's a treasure, um, one of the treasure maps I have has me going there. Got this freaking alfalfa sprout in the back, which is like, <sighs> whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensor beam. Really? You think I'm just giving these away? Vomiter Peach. Because I'm not. <clears throat> Vomit. I'm sure you're surprised. Man, I haven't played Final Fantasy X in friggin' forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm way too far away. That should do it. Looking for a good like PlayStation One emulator console to play Xenogears from again. I, I forget it. Oh, I know what brought it up, but uh, I've kind of had a hankering to play Xenogears again. It's an old PS One RPG, and uh, it had a really deep story to it. 
confusing story as most Square RPGs can be, or Japanese RPGs can be, but it was a good story. All right, so we've got a treasure chart that, that takes me here. Wait, we did this. No, this was the cave chart. Why am I backtracking? I am smart. I am smart. I am smart. I am smart. I mean, S T M A R. I literally forgot we already got that cave chart. I just kind of stuck in my mind that there was a reason I wanted to go there, and I just forgot. I'm an idiot. Alright, so now we gotta go back in here again to get more forest water. Slowly. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Whatever. Just swim it. Screw you, Bo. Beetle! 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 Stop! Okay. Yes. We both we both had the idea at the same time. Although you probably had it first because you took time to type it and stuff. Okay. Yes. All all the pairs. I don't need bait anymore. And I don't recall what a silver membership gets me. Oh my gosh, can I just buy these in bulk or something? This is so boring! Thank you! Okay. Oh, they won't let me inspect my inventory while I'm talking Hi. to Beetle? How many do I need? I've got four, I can hold four more. Okay. There's nothing else for me to hold in this bag, so it might as well be pears. Thank you. Four Thank hours you. later. We're almost done, fellas, I promise. Thank you. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. 28 points. Hang on. I want to see... Bye! Nope. Oh, I'm maxed out on bombs. I don't know if he's going to let me buy more bombs. Bye! Alright, so later on, I need to buy two more things from Beetle to see what he's going to offer me as part of this silver membership. And if he tells me I need to buy, like, 90 things for him, I thought about it, but but that's like 60 rupees per bomb. I don't wanna do that. All right, I'm curious now. If he starts offering me some freaking gold membership, I'm not gonna be happy. But I got so many of those pairs. So many. 30. Hey, look, I need bombs. And also, unrelatedly, a depth charge seems to have gone off near your boat. Thank you. Bye. I have a premonition that another depth charge is about to go off near your boat. This is the dumbest way to get points from Beetle. I should have just bought bait. Bye. It'd have been cheaper. Um. Bye. Stop it! There's too much talking. Bye. Stop it! <laughs> Silver membership. A luxurious gift. You're gonna ma- I'm right in front of you! Gold membership. Bye. He's actually offering me a gold membership. How many points until the gold membership? Aziz, light! Whoa! Who 
sucks? Me. I suck. Thank you. 60 points! Bye. And today, I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson in how to get swindled, starring Gilius. Uh, all you gotta do is go around with a bunch of money in your pocket and act like an idiot and buy crap you don't need. So, uh, it's a pretty simple method. Anyone can do it. What a waste of money that was. What a waste! It's okay. I'll sail around some off stream or something and get more rupees or whatever. I know, I know. I'm, you don't hear me blaming this on you guys. I'm not blaming it on you. This was totally 100% my idea. I own that, it's mine. I just feel like an idiot right now. I just, I had to know what would happen. And this was an old thing that people said back when I was in the guild. Um, curiosity killed the ghillie. Like, I have to know sometimes what's going to happen. And yeah, here we are. Here we are. That timer counts down real slow. All right, so we've refreshed our water. Beetle is sailing away with all our money. Yeah, so uh, I'm not done for tonight yet, uh, but this is gonna be the last of uh, Alright, we need to visit Western Fairy Island. I'm going to finish that thought in just a moment. Uh, this is going to be the last of this set of Wind Waker streams. Um, uh, the next ones are going to be XCOM 2. So I'll have plenty of time off stream between now and then to sail around and get my rupees back. Because I'm not happy with how that went down. I knew he was going to try and offer me some kind of stupid friggin' gold membership. What is this? Oh, the Great Fish Isle. This is where the, uh... Wow, how did Beetle beat me here? This is where the, uh, Zori used to be before they got destroyed by Ganon or something. We never actually got to explore here. Alright, let's have a look. Well, he's got a better way of swindling gullible streamers, that's for sure. So glad I got more water right now. Have some water. And that's when you see boobs. Seven more. Seven more? I have to hit them all in one go? Oh, so this isn't something where I just awaken the trees a little bit at a time. I have to hit them all in one go. Because that used to be... Oh, man. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. So, I'm going to wind up looking up the location of all the Korok trees to do all at once later. I'm not going to do it off stream. I'm going to do it on stream. But knowing that you have to hit them all in 30 minutes means I was supposed to be taking notes on them and not just slowly sprinkling water on them over time, which kind of pisses me off. I feel like that's not fair a little bit. All right. But we'll just keep looking. Oh, what you got, sir? I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes. I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs with yeah, blah, blah, blah. I came between just in the yeah, dub. The fabled shop guru statue. Uh, 
Well, it would have been different if I had known that I needed to be taking notes of where the deco tree, the deco plants were, so I could have been doing this all along. That's a town flower, is it not? Right in that for this sea flower? Sure. Your fee will be 10, 20 rupees. Come on, man. Beetle swindled me earlier. I'm, I'm not doing great on the rupee front. Mind if I steal some of your crap? Look, now it's 18 rupees. Do you feel better? Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Where's my boat? I'm a moron. Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Don't want to drown. Man, Link has no longevity. Where is my boat? Uh... Oh, crap. I should have sailed over here. I'm an idiot. So basically, if Link were to swim in an Olympic pool, he would drown. How's it going, moron? Okay, is there any place around here for me to get out and look around? It's kind of not looking that way. Show me the map. Three Eye Reef is over here. And we've already looked at that. There's the great swindler himself. Alright, to the Three Eye Reef. We got full hearts. I'm going to go ahead and save before we do this. Just to make sure I don't screw myself over. How's my gamepad doing? Okay. Normally, its battery life has not been great. Look for seagulls. While you're, while you're sailing, look for seagulls. You never know when you're going to run into a stupid... Uh... Wait. Why did I get down here? I wasn't done with the... Look, just because I'm an idiot doesn't mean that he's not a swindler. Okay. I wanted to know what the silver membership got me. Uh, here. The every one of these I get is one less beetle swindling. Or a piece of heart. Okay. That's random. All right, let's take on some bomb thingy. Yeah. This is true. And bam. Okay. We'll go through this slowly. Oh, there's one. Marksman Supreme, that's me. Looking around here for bomb thingies, there's a bomb thingy. Okay. Wow, I'm really low on hearts all of a sudden. Uh, nope, let's not control the winds, let's bomb the thing. that now we go along the reef and look for whatever that is I came in here with full hearts didn't I 
Those bombs really take it out of you. Either that or I've taken a lot of bombs while I'm not paying attention. Yay, magic! I wish that Link had a run button. So I didn't feel like I had to do the, that rolling thing just to get, like, maximum speed out of him. It feels silly to just be like, Hey, do you like somersaulting? Do you like somersaulting forever? Well, guess what? You're in luck. It's the fastest way to get around. You're going to be somersaulting forever. Hmm. I had my boat to go right there. Oh, that's interesting. They disappear with proximity just to Link himself. <gasps> oh no, he's going to drown! Oh no! No! Oh no, he's going to drown. I am smart. I am smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R. I didn't mean to roll off the thing. Just die, Link. Just die. I'm gonna drink the whole ocean. Okay. If I have to kill those cannons again, I'm not gonna be happy. That's a lot of them in close proximity. There's gotta be a reason. This is what? I wonder what happens if I get all five. That's a lot of them close together. I mean, if it's 250 rupees, I'd be kind of okay with that too, to be honest. Except for this slow opening chest visual. I hope Perm's enjoying himself a pack. I really do. A person should not have to purchase a ticket to PAX and be disappointed. Did you do it? So far, it's looking like this is just going to be 250 rupees. Which will do a lot to correct the beetle swindling I just went through. And yes, I'm going to continue to blame this on beetle. And not at all on my stupid decision making. Not at all. Yep, just 250 rupees. Okay. I hope that chest is still there though. Please tell me I don't have to do all that again. Are they there? Are the cannons there inside? They're there. I think I have to kill the cannons again because they're here. I don't know how that counted, but dang it, I'll take it. Okay, I don't think I needed to do that. Oh. Wasn't there one along the side of the canyon? I just want to make sure I don't have to kill 
all this stuff again since I drowned like an idiot. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm done killing all of the auto turrets and that boat is smoking. Nope, stop, stop. No. This is the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, now go away, you stupid boat. I don't care about five rupees. I care about 5,000 rupees. Who wants a $10 paycheck when they could get a 10 million paycheck? All right, now let's not be an idiot and roll off the stupid ledge again. This is taking too long. I'm going to miss the farmer's Just market. Reading my mind. Hearts. Yay, hearts. I'm feeling much better. Now, it is of note that I went through the reef this time without taking any damage whatsoever. That, to me, is a success. Alright, this is where I fell off, so I'm not going to screw around with those barrels, and I'm not going to roll when it gets all thin like that, because that's where I screwed up. Now, where was the treasure chest again? That was forever ago. I feel like that was legit half an hour ago. Better freaking be here. Where is the treasure chest? Oh, it's over there. Okay, okay. Let's change the wind. I don't care unless it's perfect. All right, and then this. Yep. All right, treasure. This better be worth it. This is so better be worth it. Okay, this might be worth it. 10 rupees. All right, so which treasure chest was that? I do not recognize that island. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. So that way the wind will blow me towards the boat before, so I don't drown. Controlling the wind with the wind waker is an interesting mechanic, but it gets old quick after a while. It really does. Alright. And it's storming. Terrific. I don't care about... Alright. What is Thorn Fairy Island? I'm com I am very interested in that. I think I just did that exactly backwards. Yep. When you're musically dyslexic. So what this is not helping me with is actually finding the Triforce charts. I know that's a thing. I found the one on Outset Island because I knew it was there already. But I've not found, I have not made any progress tonight towards the actual main quest of the game. Whee! But there's this thing over here called Thorn Fairy Island. So we're probably going to visit that and call it a night. Eastern Triangle. I oh, I've got a treasure chest for here. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Uh. 
Oh, I thought that was close enough. Maybe this is... Nope. Maybe this is close enough. Crap. That should do it. More rupees? More rupees. That's okay. Beetle swindled me. I need the money. What is Thorn Fairy Island? So, there's a thing here, and I've not gotten to do it yet. The fairy islands are islands that are each shaped like a heart. So the, the North Fairy Island points down, the South Fairy Island points up, and same with the Eastern and Western Fairy Islands, right? They cross section to a specific grid on the map. And I don't know, it, I think there's something wherever those fairy islands cross section, and I don't remember what it is or how you find that out. I just remember there being something about that. Right there. Or not. Right here. Well, I'm, at the very least, um, I'm going to be calling it a night after this island, but at least I've gotten a fair amount of treasure chests done. All right. Um, and uh, islands explored, even if we don't know what they're all for yet. Um, Doc, your research has been invaluable, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, so, okay, we've got three smashy thingies here. I've definitely not been here. That is not a smashy thingy. Okay. Oh, let's find out what the silver membership was worth. Cash on delivery. Postage is... Do you mean to tell me that Beetle's... This better not be from Beetle. If Beetle sent me something where I have to pay more rupees to get the mail... Notice to several membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shop Ships. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. Yeah, whatever. One complimentary ID. Yeah. He just sent me a text that said, what's wrong with your voice? So I need to bring the ID back to Beetle. Alright, let's go into this fairy island and see what we get. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You better give me something good. Oh, so now I can carry 99 arrows. Ah, eh, that's okay. All right, I'm already healed up and I'm capped off on fairies. I still need to find the fourth bottle. I don't know where that is. But, hey, we've gotten a fair amount done tonight. I know it sounds like we were really just kind of derping around and stuff. And eh, we kind of are. Um, but I really appreciate you guys coming out tonight and hanging out with me. Doc, I've appreciated your research very night. I have appreciated your research very much. 
Um, thank you for coming out tonight. Um,